Hello. <clears throat> okay, I have the spinning wheel. We always know we don't like to see a long spinning wheel, but it went away. I can see things connecting. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Oh, my goodness. It's time for another Make It Monday Live. I see a few people popping on. Hi, Cindy. Okay, great. I, you can all see me and hear me clearly. Great. Wonderful. Oh, my gosh. It feels like forever since I have been live. Um, things have just been packed into the last couple of weeks that it feels like I was telling my friend Jody, I'm like, okay, so I'm in a program at work that was really intensive. And um, then John ended up in the ER last Sunday for gallbladder pain. He ended up having emergency surgery on Monday and everything has just been so darn crammed into the last couple of weeks. I'm like, it totally feels like it has been like a year since I went live. I came up here to get ready and I'm like, this does not feel familiar to me because so much stuff has happened. I'm so excited to be back live with you this week and um, stamping with you. Oh my goodness, I see so many people saying hi. Oh, that's warming my heart. I'm so glad. I was so nervous that not making it live, you guys would forget all about me, but I see you're here. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Sharon, Sandy, Susan. Oh, Susan is saying hello from Florida. Susan, we are going to Florida in a few weeks um, for a vacation of nothing but sand and water and swimming and um, delicious drinks with umbrellas. And I'm so excited. Um, I cannot wait to get away from this wintry, yucky weather. Um, although this week and next, we're supposed to have some really nice temperatures. So I'm super excited. I see so many people saying hi, thank you. The more you comment, the better your chances at a prize. So keep on chatting with me. I don't want to talk to myself throughout this whole video either. Um, so I love it when we connect. It's my favorite part of the week. Um, I love it when you tell me where you're from. I absolutely love to go through every single comment when I am done with the live and see where everyone is from. It's like my favorite thing to do after my live. I see tons of you sharing my videos. Thank you so much. When you share my video, it totally, um, it makes me happy and it helps support my small business. So you know all that technology stuff. Um, when you share my video, it totally helps um, get those algorithms and I get to share the fun of stamping with your friends and family and who wouldn't want that, right? Oh, Sandy asked how my husband doing. He is doing great. Oh my goodness. He is such a fast healer. He is up and moving around and um, <coughs> it's been wonderful. So he has been healing absolutely wonderfully. He made us steaks on the grill tonight. So I have a full belly full of steak and I just, I'm so happy with how things turned out and relieved that everything is so much better. Tonight, I am super excited because I am stamping with the brand new Butterfly Brilliance stamp set. And there are some matching dies. I'm going to show you this. Um, this goes live tomorrow. You'll get to get your hands on that. And I have got a special thank you. Um, when you order the Butterfly Brilliance collection, and I'll tell you what that's all about from my online store. And I am pairing that tonight with the Many Messages bundle in the spring catalog. And I'll show you that close up when I turn everything around. These two bundles pair really well together. And I have got some classes to go this much this month featuring those products. So, Whew, that was a lot. Oh my gosh, you are, all of you are just so, so, so sweet. Um, well wishes, so many of you reached out to me and told me you were praying for me and my husband and that just really touched my heart. So 
I always tell people that stampers are the best people and to have so many people reach out to me asking how John was doing and praying for us was just so, so wonderful. So thank you everyone for your thoughts and your prayers. Really appreciate it. I think we should get to prizes because since I was gone and so much happened, I really beefed up the prizes tonight, like really beefed them up. And I think you're really going to like them. So let me flip this around and turn on my light. Hopefully the glare won't be too big. I actually, first, before I get into prizes, I got some mail this week that I want to share with you. Um, I got some mail from Carol Schaefer. I don't know if I saw Carol watching or not. Carol, I hope you're watching. Um, Carol won a prize for me, and she sent me this absolutely gorgeous card using the Dragonfly um, suite of products. And you see how she used a little piece of the designer series paper on the flap of her envelope. Absolutely gorgeous. Totally coordinates with this card, which is a fun fold with a belly band here. So, so cute. Look at this thing. Isn't this amazing? Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. Um, she says, thank you so much for the beautiful butterfly cards. I can't wait to watch your next live. That was so sweet. Thank you. Thank you so much, Carol. I so appreciate that. Just got a little sticker on the back, handcrafted by Carol. So this is a super fun card. I love it. And um, what do you think? Should I feature this card in my next live and show you guys how to make this fun fold? Let me know if you would love to see how to make this card. I will do it in my next live. <clears throat> Okay, prizes. I got stuff all over my desk. We're using our Stamparatus tonight. And so I kind of have that in the way. All right, do you remember these adorable chickens? Oh my gosh. So um, these two cards were featured in my, um, a different color scheme, but they were in my um, special thank you for ordering the Hey Birthday Chick bundle from me. And that um, ended yesterday, so you are not able to get that class anymore, um, but you can still play around with those birthday chicks. And I made this one from uh, some of the designer series paper from Celebration, a little stampin' on the fly. Aren't those cute? Um, okay, so the winner of these cards is for liking my um, post. So I love it when you hit those hearts and those likes. Absolutely makes my day. And the winner for that is Rhonda Buck. So Rhonda wins these cards for hitting that like button. Uh, Rhonda, I need your address. So if you could, I would so, so, so appreciate if you would send me an email or a private message and um, let me know your address and I'll work on getting those in the mail to you in the next couple of days or so. All right, now I have some celebration goodies left over and I've got this really beautiful uh, flower and field designer series paper. Now it's really, really hard to mail 12 by 12 packs. So I'm gonna cut this down to six by six and send it out as a prize. And the winner of this is for comments. And that winner is Diane Fidlin. So congratulations, Diane. I also need your address so I can get this in the mail, but you win this entire pack of paper um, from Celebration. Celebration is over, but I've got some goodies to give away. Um, <clears throat> so if you could shoot me an email or if you, um, you want to send me a private message? My email is countrycardsbyrose at gmail.com with your information. I'll get that in the mail. And I have one card kit left. This is my last one. Well, actually, I have one more sitting in my to go pile. And I see that she watched me last week. And I don't know if I saw her here, but Kim Crane, I have a package to go out to you from my last live, but I need your address. If you wouldn't mind sending me an email or a private message, I can get that out to you. 
But my last prize is for sharing my video. And I've got one last card kit here using that ombre paper. And um, listen, you can swap whatever you like for the stamp set. I just happened to use a touch of ink, which was a free celebration item. And I'm going to throw in a pack of the Pearl Basic Jewels and a spool of the metallic ribbon so that you can dress up these cards. This is a fabulous prize for sharing. All the best prizes go for sharing. Um, Bonnie Olive, you are the winner. Oh, I see Kim is on. Okay, no problem, Kim. Just shoot me an email and I'll get it out to you. I may have missed it, so I'm so sorry if I did. But Bonnie Olive, you are the winner of this fabulous kit for sharing. I need your address as well. If you could send me an email or a message, I will get that out to you. I see lots of new names here. Welcome. Thank you so much for watching tonight. Okay. We are using our Stamparatus tonight and we're using two background stamps. So what's really cool is I have been um, stamping like crazy with um, these new products with my many messages and I have ink all over this one. Huh. As I took it off, I got ink everywhere. There must have been a splotch of ink on here, so I'm just going to wipe that off real quick. Um, but we're going to do some stamping here with our Stamparatus tonight. We're going to start with our many messages bundle and let me get this out here okay so i am featuring the many messages in my march class to go when you order this class to go for me you will get to make and take make and take you'll get to make um 10 cards and a bonus box to hold all of your many messages now, the cool thing about this, um, I'll show you as I stamp it, is that you're gonna stamp this once and cut it out once, and you're gonna get a whole bunch of sentiments that you can just grab and use for your cards. So we are using that for our first card. We're also using the new Butterfly Brilliance Collection. So, um, in this bundle, you get this big stamp set. Now, I have seen people leaving it intact, and I have also seen people doing what they call stamp and surgery and cutting this apart so that they can use the individual butterflies. But listen, here is the really, really cool thing. And I'm going to show you this with my Stamparatus here. These dies are all one piece that go with it. And after you stamp, they line up and die cut all of these big butterflies perfectly. Okay, so that is why I chose to leave mine intact. Because I want to be able to cut out a whole bunch of butterflies at once. And you have seen me before show you how we can color right on our stamps with our markers. So you don't all have to make your butterflies all the same color just because they're all on one stamp. If you've got those many marvelous markers, you can color these butterflies whatever color you want to, just by coloring right on the rubber stamp. So in here, you've got this big, huge die that cuts all of these at once. You've got a few smaller, like these are some um, textured dies, a little detailed butterfly. And there's more. You also get a sheet of these detailed butterflies. And these fit all of these big um, butterfly cutouts. They are amazing. So I absolutely love this die set. There is so much you can do with it. And I want to show you the other really cool thing about it. The Butterfly Brilliance Bundle that is available starting tomorrow comes with the stamp set and the dies. 
And you also can get your hands on a pack of, it'll come with this 12 by 12, it's called Natural Touch Specialty Paper, and a pack, a six by six pack of this Butterfly Bijou Designer Series Paper. Now let me show you these in more detail here. <clears throat> okay. So this is that natural touch paper and it looks like wood grain and it feels like wood grain, very lightly embossed. And then look at this pretty paper. Oh my gosh, isn't this paper absolutely gorgeous? It is so pretty, I love, I am so in love with the colors in this paper. And look at the backs, these are so pretty. So here's the deal. This paper is only available while supplies last. So my class is only going to be available as long as you can get the full collection. But I want to, before we get to stamping, show you. These dies match up with this paper perfectly so that you can cut all of these butterflies out at once. Pretty awesome. Okay, let's go. We need to stamp. I have been talking for way too long, so let's do this. Okay, I'm starting with, whoops, I'm starting with my um, many messages, and what we're going to do is we're going to prepare our sentiments first. So I've got a half of a sheet of pool party cardstock here and I'm just lining this up and I'm going to ink this up with pool party ink as well. So we're doing a little color on color stamping. Now I don't know if you know this trick with your stamparatus but you can put your um, stamp set right under there and it helps you to kind of level your ink pad. I've been a little bit generous here with this ink, so I hope that I don't get too many halos around my words. Oh, not too bad. And then the cool thing about the Stamparatus is if you notice that you have some um, words that need to be stamped a little bit better, you just re-ink and kind of apply a little more pressure to that part of the stamp set. Oh, I think that looks really good. All right, so now, here's the really cool thing about this is I can just, I need to re, um, get my chamois wet again, but I can just take my chamois and clean this off. And then I am good to go. Okay. Put this aside. We'll use the butterflies in a minute. <clears throat> okay. So now. I have got the coordinating dies and I'm going to grab, um, I still have my magnetic platform from my last die cutting machine so I'm using that but if you have the uh, platform that comes with the a Big Boss, the stamp and cut and emboss machine, you can just um, keep this down by putting some craft tape or painter's tape or even post-it notes work really great to keep this in place. So all you do is just kind of line this up and I just scan. It looks like all of my um, sentiments are in there. I'm going to bring in my Big Boss, and we're going to run this through. You can hear it cracking away.
All right. So it's cutting out. Look at this. Look at all of these sentiments that you have ready to go at a moment's notice. You could spend the day cutting a bunch of these out in some of your favorite colors or your go-to colors for your cards. And you could store them in a box. You could store them in the box you make in my class if you like, or if you have a decorative box, um, then you are totally good to go. Super easy peasy. And then you'll see how easy it is to just grab from your stash when it's time to craft. I love that these are all different shapes and some are stitched, just super, super cool. Okay, so now I have here, okay, for our card base, we're using a piece of pool party. This is uh, five and a half by eight and a half, and you fold it at four and a quarter. Um, I forgot to cut this piece. We're going to use this kind of fun, splotchy uh, paper from the Butterfly Bijou Designer Series paper, and I'm cutting this to uh, five and a quarter by four. So that'll be our card front layer like that. And then I've got a strip of our um, natural touch, this wood grain paper. This is five and a half by one inch. Okay, so I'm gonna get to doing some gluing right away because this card's super simple. So I'm gonna glue down my, ooh, you hear those angels singing when I use my seal? I love this stuff. So smooth, so amazing. I know every time I use it, Robin hears angels singing over um, <clears throat> in uh, Holcomb, I think you're from. She can hear them way over there. She always tells me. All right, and we're just going to adhere this to our card front. Oh, Trista, you made the cards that I sent you. So awesome. I'm so happy that you loved them. I figured you could use a set of thank you cards for your Color Street business too. So hopefully those will come in handy for you. All right. And now I'm going to glue down this strip of the natural touch paper. And this goes totally top to bottom. So we're just going to glue that on here straight like that. We got a little ladybug that flew down here. <clears throat> like so. Super easy. Oh, Melanie says she's heard of people coloring the wood grain with gray granite markers. Super cool. I will have to try that. <laughs> All right, now we've got our piece of designer series paper with our big butterflies on it. And the other side of this is really gorgeous too, by the way. And I'm going to line up these dies. I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to line up these dies with the big butterflies on this paper. And we're going to cut one, two, three, four, five, six of these butterflies out at once. So let's bring in our big boss and run it through. And I 
will show you just how easy this is. There they go. Now I'm gonna save this because you know me, I like my strips of designer series paper and I can get one here and on the other side. So don't throw those away. They are like gold. Um, okay. So now I have got all of these butterflies and I'm gonna pull out the yellow, this jade one and this blue one, and I'm gonna set these other three aside over here. Okay, now with our card base, when you order the Butterfly Brilliance Collection, I'm also throwing in a spool of this sheer pool party ribbon. So um, we're gonna get this ready, but I almost forgot a step here. I need some dimensionals. Okay, we are going to put these butterflies here along my strip so that this is just gonna peek through. So I'm, I like to kind of place my butterflies first and then I'll see where I want to kind of place them here. I think like that looks really nice. So let me start here. And we're just going to tuck that in. Okay, and my yellow butterfly comes next. Now, remember, this part of the wing is going to go underneath, so I'm not going to put a dimensional right down there, but I'll put a couple. And I shouldn't put it that quite far close to the edge of the wing, and you'll see why. Here, but I'll put another one down here. Okay, and I'm just going to tuck that butterfly under like that. And then we'll do our jade one next. Let's see. This is the edge that's going to go under, so. This right? Yeah. Up here, I need one more. When you flip them over backwards, it gets hard. I know, Jody. I hate the edges of my dimensionals. <laughs> I am getting better, but as you can see, I still have a tendency to go right for that middle, which is fine, but I like cringe to have to use the edges of my dimensionals. All right, so we've got these butterflies flying across our card here. And I'm going to take my snips, flip over my card, and any edges that are popping out beyond the edge of the card here, I'm just trimming off. Just like, oops, I got a hair hanging out here. Just like this. What do you think so far? Pretty simple. Oh, Trista, that is not a dumb question at all. That is a great question. Yes, this will still fit in an envelope and I will show you. Usually I can get a card in an envelope that has two layers popped up on dimensionals. But any more than that is tough to get into an envelope. 
So yes, these will, even with these dimensionals popped up, definitely fit in an envelope. But I did trim the wings too. Okay, so now we've got this pretty pool party ribbon. <clears throat> and I am going to, oh my gosh, these Asian beetles are just like everywhere. I think with the warm weather, they think it's like springtime, time to come out of wherever they've been hibernating or something. Okay, I hope I cut this right. I didn't really measure it. I'm gonna take this pool party sheer ribbon And I think I have this way too long, but that's okay. I really don't like to tie ribbons when I only have short little stubby ends. I have a hard time with that. Okay. So I'm gonna line this up and tie this up here. And then we will wrap this around and tie it again in a knot. Aw, thank you, Susan, Sharon, Robin, Martian, K Marsha, Kay. They're all saying they love the card. I'm so happy. Glad you love it. Okay, so I'm just going to Oh, this wanted to flip around. Sometimes it does that on me when I make a knot. There we go. So we've got this knot, and I'll save these scraps because I can make little faux bows out of these or little bows out of them. So we've got just a little bit of that pool party ribbon adding some sparkle. And now you notice that that butterfly set doesn't have any sentiments, but that's okay. It makes it perfect then to pair with our many messages. So I'm gonna grab this one here that says, so happy to hear of your exciting news. And these butterflies are popped up. And so this end is gonna go over the top of where the butterflies already are. So I'm gonna put some dimensionals over here, but a glue uh, dot over here so that they are the same height. This side's already popped up and it's gonna kind of rest here on those wings. Yes, Melanie, isn't this pool party perfect to match with it? Oh my gosh, it's like the right style and everything. I just love it. Okay, so we're going to put the sentiment down. And you know we need to add just a little bit of bling. And I haven't used these in a while and they're included in my many messages class. So I am going to use these clear and frosted epoxy droplets. These are so much fun. I think I'm going to go with the frosted with our color scheme here. So I'm going to stick one in there. And I will stick one here. And I think I'll do a bigger one down tucked in here. All right, now, you know that we like to um, stamp the inside. So I'm gonna show you something kind of cool I did to stamp the inside layer. So I've got a piece of basic white here and um, it's five and a quarter by four. I got stuff all over the place here. So just give me a second to stop throwing things around so much. All right, I'm gonna grab my Stamparatus. 
Oh, you, you ladies are so sweet. I'm so glad that you like this card. I had a lot, a lot of fun playing with this stamp set. I don't think I'm going to put it away anytime soon. That's for sure. Okay, so let me think about how I want to do this. Yeah. Yep, okay. So I'm going to line up this stamp and just stamp the edge of my basic white layer here. So I get to kind of practice lining this up. First, so here we go. Put these magnets to hold it in place, and I will grab my pool party ribbon or ribbon, ah, my pool party ink. And I'm just inking up the edge of those butterflies. So that they are just flying off the page a little bit. Like so. And where, here we go. We're going to glue this down on the inside of our card. I have been asked to do a video with tips on how to use, oh, this is why it was twisted, because it was twisted inside. Oh, funny. Well, that's what makes our cards special. They're not absolutely perfect, right? So here we have our inside butterfly wings going down the side, just like in the outside. Isn't that cute? So there's our first card. Now, when you order this collection, this is one of the cards that is in my tutorial that you will get to make in my class to go. And Sharon's asking, do I have class kits to go? I do. I have a class kit to go that features this um, bundle right here. I'm gonna do a zoom in here so you can see this a little bit easier. And this card is one of the cards you get to make in the kit to go. So the class to go features this card. And the next card I'm gonna make is also in my class to go. And I also have another class to go featuring many messages that uses a couple different designer series paper um, peony garden and well suited. So I've got a lot of things going at once these days. All right, are you ready for our next card? Um, Susan, awesome. I'm so happy. I love to send classes to go. So um, I have two of them going on now. And if you would like, I can send you the link to the details as soon as I am done with this class, Sharon and Susan and anyone else who would like to send me the link, just let me know in the messages and I would be happy to do that as soon as I'm done with this live, not a problem at all. Sometimes I know it's hard with all the information floating around to be able to find that stuff and I would be um, not a problem at all to send you any of that info. All right, I'm getting to use my super fun melon mambo that I haven't gotten out in a while. And it sure pairs with this beautiful paper, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. Now, this class you can get tomorrow, but remember this paper is only available while supplies last and I know that it is gonna sell fast. So if you're interested in this paper, you're gonna wanna snag it right away. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna glue this down with my famous stamp and seal. 
Okay, so yes, Sharon, Susan, Lorraine, I will send you um, those links as soon as I'm done, not a problem. Okay, so I'm just gluing this down and my designer series paper is just like the last layer, it's five and a quarter by four. I had to think for a minute because math is hard. Um, and I took another of the coordinating. Ooh, what one should I use? What side? I think I'll use this yellow one and bring some yellow out. Um, this is an inch wide by five and a half inches long. I know I love the colors in this paper. It's coming at such a perfect time when like, it's like the end of winter -y and everything is like gray and drizzly and the snow looks dirty and these bright colors are perfect this time of year. They really help brighten our spirits, I think. Okay, now, this time with my natural texture paper, I cut out, um, I punched out a circle and this is using the um, two, two and a quarter inch circle punch. And I'm gonna glue that down kind of right over the top, not quite centered, but about two thirds of the way above this strip that I just put down here. And you're gonna to have to pay attention to those grains. I don't, let me see if I can get you to see here. There, oh, there you go. Do you see how there are grains? It's like little um, grains of wood. I just love this stuff. Okay, and I'm gonna set that there. Okay, next with our pool party ribbon, this time I'm gonna do my best to make sure it doesn't get wrapped, folded over itself on the back side. <laughs> Oh, funny, we all do it, right? Okay, so let's make sure that this is not twisted, it's not. And then I am just going to, just like before, I'm gonna tie this in a little knot. And then our ends. There we go. Our ends are gonna stick out a little bit and I like to cut, trim these off at a little bit of an angle, just like that. So that pool party ribbon is just very subtle, but it adds a perfect pop of color, just like that. Now. You remember those butterflies we set aside when we cut out our first die cuts? Well, we're going to use them now. So I'm going to grab my dimensionals and start placing these butterflies. So I'm gonna go down here and let's see. I feel like we got this big one should be maybe here. And or we go like, I like to kind of place them first. Ooh, I think I like that. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to place this guy first, or gal. Like so. And then um, I don't want this too tall, so I'm only going to put dimensionals on the one side of the wings. And then just like we did with our um, sentiment before I'm just taking a glue dot for the other side of the wings and I do this quite a bit when I'm layering and using dimensionals 
just to keep my um, layers kind of all the same and equal. So that's a good trick to do that. And the glue dot is so, so easy to just grab and tuck on the wing. All right, and now, let's see. Here we've got this one, wishing you a year of magical moments and wonderful memories. I really, really love the shape of this one. I'm so happy to celebrate these moments with you. Um, I like this one, just a card to say hello. Ooh, that's kind of fun. It's just little and it tucks right in there. What else do we have? Ooh, I love this one. Be strong, be brave. You got this. But I don't know if the shape tucks so perfectly into that. What one are we liking so far? These are my top three. I've got thank you for being you. Um, we've got some of these happy anniversary, some of these skinnier ones. I think I like the hello card. Hi, Carol from Connecticut. Hi, Sonia. Thanks for sharing. What do you guys think? You like that one? That just a card to say hello? I kind of like the size of that one. It feels like it goes really well with this. So I'm noticing that the place to put the dimensional is going to be in this bottom corner here. And then just like before, I'm going to grab a glue dot and put it up here in our top corner. All right. Hi, Audrey. How are you doing? I haven't seen you forever. I hope you're doing well and staying healthy. There we go. We're tucking that in there. Ooh, I love that. Here, I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see this. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely love it. And you know, we gotta have a little bit of bling. Hi, Kay, welcome. So this time, should we use our clear epoxy droplets? I think that would be fun. And I will stick, I'll stick a little one. I'll tuck it right here. And let's see. I always kind of like to look at where I've got open space that I feel like I need to Put one kind of on the edge there. And I feel like maybe up over here we need another one. Like up there, yeah. Taking the flow of that card. So there we go. And of course we need the inside stamped. So let's see what other um, way we can shape our stamparatus here. Now I need to clean off my pool party because I think I want to use a different color. Should we use Melon Mambo? I haven't stamped in that for quite a while. Okay, cleaning up that stamp set. Oh, Marcia never thought of using a glue dot like that. Oh my goodness, Marcia, that is my favorite way, especially sometimes I will notice, oh, this is a little bit loose. And I will take my, either the tip of my um, snips or I'll take like my bone folder or my take your pick tool and I'll just tuck a little glue dot down in there and it helps keep those ends um, kind of nice and secure. So love that for that. All right, now let me think about this. I think I just want these butterfly wings like this down in the corner. So I'm just gonna stamp off, stamp um, or ink up, I should say, these two butterflies here. Now, when I'm done with this card, I've got a few more cards with this butterfly stamp set that I want to show you. So 
stick around if you have time. I think you're going to love these cards. All right. Now I'm being a little bit on the fly here about this. So I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I have glue on my fingers. Oh, that actually turned out really cute. Just a little bit of butterfly wings down there. And I wonder if we could do something again, but in the other corner. I don't really think this through. I'm just kind of going with it. <laughs> so we'll see, right? Oh, cute. I like that. All right. <clears throat> Better put this bright ink pad away before I drop it somewhere. Okay. So now let's glue this down on the inside. Oh, I almost lost one of my sentiments. Okay. There we go. And I love how that sheer ribbon even shows off on the inside. So there is our second card. And this is the second card that you will get to make in my class to go. So here's our first, here's our second. Isn't that beautiful? Love them. Now I'm gonna show you my design cards here. So here's the first one using some of the other paper just to show you how, if you don't wanna use these colors, from the designer series paper, you can use some of these other ones. So there is another way to make this card. See how different they look? Oh my goodness. And you probably noticed that this is the same basic layout, um, a designer series paper and a strip that coordinates. And then here we've got the card we made tonight. And then here is my design card, totally different look featuring So Saffron. Doesn't it totally change the look of the card? So as you can see, when you get this kit, if you buy this, um, uh, the collection and you get this kit in the mail and you don't wanna use the colors I used tonight, you can totally swap them up. They will work so many different ways. And, <clears throat> I think it would be great now. So here we have them all. Cute, right? I think it would be great to go through some more cards using this bundle. What do you think? Are you ready to see more cards? I'm ready to show you more cards. So I'm in a swap with some demonstrator friends of mine and we made a whole bunch of cards featuring this stamp set. So this one's from my demonstrator friend, Jennifer Merle Hampshire. Isn't that beautiful? I love how these butterflies are in white. And actually, let me zoom in here. I really want you guys to be able to see these cards. So there's one. And then this one's from my friend, Kelly Atchison. I love the black detailed butterfly, just absolutely perfect with those layers. So there you can see it a little closer up. Gorgeous, huh? And this one is from Lori Krauss, white on white with that striped or that silver foil ribbon, just absolutely stunning. 
And she took the detailed butterflies and then she's got rhinestones on them for a little bit of bling. And it is, that is a stunning card in person. Here we've got a fun one from Jody Peterson. Jody's watching. Isn't this card beautiful? Some texture with the um, um, timeless textures, I think it is, embossing folder. And she used um, some of the rhinestones on the butterfly body. Just awesome. I love that oval punch. Friendship is found in the simple things. So awesome. I love it. Now, I think we got some fun folds coming here. So here's from my friend, Christine Bertram. Let's see what we got. Oh, awesome. Look how simple to make a fun fold. Do you love that? I might have to make one of these. What else we got here? Um, this one looks like a fun fold too. Gift card holder, Candy Michael. oh wow look at this and that gift card sticks right in there this would be a fun card to make too I should do a fun fold night what do you say would you love that fun fold night on my make it Monday um and this one looks like a fun fold too this is from my friend Jay Shante. Oh, totally. Look at that. Here, she used that brick embossing folder on the designer series paper. And she, of course, used some Stella on this detailed butterfly. So awesome. Oh, my goodness. Some beautiful cards here. And then, of course, the cards we made tonight and our design cards. So, so many beautiful cards with these butterflies. It is amazing. Okay. <clears throat> now, when you go to order your Butterfly Brilliance collection, you're going to want to use my host code unless your order is over $150. If it's over 150 and you order the Butterfly Brilliance Collection, I will still send you um, a kit, even if you don't use the host code. So skip the code if your order's over 150. Um, okay, you can order at my website, www.rosegrunewald.com. There's a link at the top that says shop. And I've sorted some stuff there so it's easy for you to find what you're looking for. Okay, if you have any questions about that at all, let me know and watch my Facebook page and your email for some details on my many messages class to go. Um, that should be coming out here later this week. Let me switch so I can look at you so that I can see you all. Um, <clears throat> I will send links to anyone who's interested in those classes to go. I got a few of you who said, yes, please send me those links. If any more of you would like the link, just comment link, please. And I will be sure to do that as soon as I wrap up here. Thank you so, so much for joining me tonight. I had so much fun. I'm glad to be stamping again on my Make It Monday. I really missed you all last week and so relieved that John is doing better. I will be here again next Monday, same place, same time, 7 p.m. Central. And um, I will be stamping with you soon. Make sure you're watching my blog for more inspiration, more stuff coming out. Have a great rest of your week, my crafty friends. And I will see you all later. Bye. Have